Hey, and what's up with all my bariatric beauties and my bariatric buddies? This is Neek Neek coming at you with my one-year post-op update. Yay! Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh-oh, titty pop. Ooh, 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 ooh. I made it to one year out. One year out. One year out. I made it to one year out. And what's up now? Mm. What? No. Nah. <laughs> um, but yes, you guys, it is my one-year anniversary oh, I got straight hair right there it's my um one year surge anniversary I'm feeling good feeling great as I always say I have definitely definitely missed you guys um yeah so why haven't I been on YouTube life has been happening I've been trying to get a new job having to go um back and forth and do a lot of testing with that and just starting to really get a second wind for life and do things outside the house you know I really had vowed that I wasn't gonna be one of them people to start off making YouTube videos and then all of a sudden fall off and fall back but I guess I did become one of the people so I'm sorry y'all but thank you for everyone like I said who continues to reach out via Facebook and um email and everything else like that I know I'm so out of breath I'm gonna apologize now y'all for the um background I'm in my basement it's too many people in my house I had to go hide in the lower levels to be able to make this video so yeah um this is where the dogs stay so yeah, that's the type of place it is. Um, what y'all think of the new hair? I'm trying a new color. Yes, God, mama. She tried it. She did it. She rocked it. But, um, yeah, just trying new things. I had my one-year post-op, uh, what do you call it? Doctor's appointment today. Everything was good. I'm weighing in at 174, which is from my highest weight. That is 125 pounds in the last year. 125, 125, 125. 125 from that from the highest weight and a hundred and two pounds from the day of surgery so yeah yeah big deal it's a pretty freaking big deal um i'm enjoying it you know i've been shopping been trying out new foods and pretty much you know eating kind of what i want to eat still in moderation not going over the top of crazy with portions or whatever but really i kind of just enjoy what i want i don't go to bananas on fried foods i've become a new fan of seafood eat a lot of that um but like i said shopping has become my new addiction when before it was probably like sweet and salty stuff now it's shopping but i didn't got smart with it i don't go to the mall mm -mm, she don't go to the mall i go to like goodwill and stuff like that because it's, it's bananas what you can get there and and i make sure i go in the uh other people neighborhood i don't go in the other people neighborhood i go in the other people neighborhood y'all y'all know what i'm saying because you tend to get better quality stuff and then um i go like okay like out here i'm in indiana and it's like michigan city indiana is not too far from me and they have a lot of outlet shopping areas so i go to the goodwill out there because a lot of people that live out there shop at the outlet malls and then it'd be like all the name brand high-end stuff and then you know they don't keep it but two minutes and 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 yeah and yes i do keep messing with my weave because i'm gonna get it to lay right in this camera wait a minute uh, wait a minute flip it oh did you see that swish it swished swish <laughs> um but yeah so i do that and that's how I get all my shopping on. I think I went to the Goodwill and spent like $20 and had like seven pieces of clothing and one pair of shoes. So, yeah, she did that. But other than that, I am, I'm feeling awesome. You know, I'm just living life. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do a full body shot so I can get my face back in the camera and continue to talk to y'all. So, once again, excuse the background. This is where the dogs live. This is, it's, it's a basement. It's a dungeon. I just needed a quiet spot. So, I'm sitting this here so I can give y'all a good body shot. Stop staring at my titty. Yeah, it is there. Okay. Ready, set, and... So, this is me. Wait, pull that shirt tighter. This is me. One year out. Still got, you know, a little tummy. Oh, you see it? That's the infamous booty, booty, booty. <laughs> gotcha. Um, but other than that, I'm feeling good. This is my arm. Like, and you can see, it's a little bit of hang time. But, um, whatever. Um, same thing here. Um, the girls still got those back rolls. I pretty much got one right here. I don't have on no compression garments. I just have on a cami or whatever. So, that's my cami. That's the gut. And, um, that's it. So, um, but yeah, that's the full body shot. As far as the thighs, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna lift my legs so y'all can see my leg. I still got big mammoth legs, unfortunately. 
I don't think those are going to go down. I've tried to start running using a treadmill, but yeah, no. Um, see, thighs still big. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Still got that meat. Still got all other meat. Um, for those of y'all who did ask me about how I'm toning the part, you know, that, that round and round thing. Okay, yeah. How I do that? Okay, see these? I got on heels, bumps. Wait, see that? Okay, so one thing I do is I do donkey kicks. Donkey kicks help with the Buddhists. If you don't know what a donkey kick is, I'm not a workout guru, professional, but this is just like a light version of what I do. Okay, so I would like get, well, that's what I was saying. Okay, with the heels, in order to get the butt, all I do is put my feet apart like I'm standing, as the military will have you stand like at parade rest with your feet apart, like that, hands on the hip, squat, bring it in, squat, bring it in. When you squat, you're going to push it out, and then when you bring it in, tighten it. Out, up, tighten it. I do it in heels because I feel more of the pull and the strain than when I'm in a gym shoe. So, and then um, also in heels, I do like old school dances. Anything that works on the lower part down here to tone it up. Like, I actually look pretty good in a pair of shorts. So, still in the infamous heel. That's a good boot. Please, I'm going to tell y'all, if you're going to work out in heels, please put on a shoe that supports your ankle, not a toe out, not a back out. You need a whole shoe with a heel that is thick enough that, like, if you land down on your foot, your ankle is not going to twist. You do not want to hurt yourself. Once again, I am not a workout guru. This is just what I do or works for me. Okay. Once again, in the heel. So I just, one, two, up, uh, up. Uh, I act like I'm a B girl. Like, what? 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 Always in the heel. Why? Because I can feel it more than in the gym shoe. And then sometimes I do thigh dips. Like, hands up, boom, boom, boom. Anytime I'm thigh going in, right? Okay. So, I know. I look crazy. Whatever. I'm just giving y'all the brief general of what I do for the lower half. So, arms up, bring the knee in, dip it up. Thighs out, dip it up. Okay, I do that. And then to get the left on the back end to get a nice rounded portion, once again, because I know somebody going to say, that's not how you do it. I went to boot camp. Oh my God, they told me to do it another way. I am not a workout guru. I am not a personal trainer, I am not a doctor, a medical professional, nor do I play one on TV, YouTube, or in real life, okay? So, this is how I do it. I'm on all fours, okay? I'm not gonna get on all fours in this basement, because it's a concrete flow. My knee's gonna hurt. So, on all fours. Foot up, 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 bring it down, up, up, bring it down. Of course, your foot should be straight up, kind of like so. And if you can bring it up, bring it up. And then I do the same thing out lifts i call it do like a dog when you see a dog like pee on a tree lift that leg out leave it there bring it down real slow bring it out leave it down real slow okay so that's what i do okay as far as arms so i don't get the super jingle jackle i'm out of breath y'all i've been running all day i know y'all hear the bargain i'm sorry but so um i don't get a lot of hang time like i got some but not too much like this sleeve is not holding my arm Front clap, back clap, front clap, back clap, front clap, back clap. Okay, I do some kettlebells. Out, in, out, in, in, out, in, out. Up, down, up, down, in, out, in, out. I do like 10 sets of each, and then back to front clap, back clap, front clap, back clap, front clap, back clap. I don't know what it is about that, but since I did that, helps with the hang time. Can it help you, sir? I'm making a video, Mom. I'll talk to you in a minute. So. Okay, y'all. I will continue my video later.